What's up guys, Franco TV here and we are with Jeff with inspect.net. Thanks for being here and doing a quick Q&A with us. So You got it Franco, it's a pleasure to be here always. Thank you, good seeing you. Awesome, so let's get started. This is where we show you the ins and outs and everything there is to know about mobile homes. It is truly our mission to transform lives through mobile homes. So thanks for watching Franco Mobile Homes. In case somebody uh, was lazy and didn't want to get a, a formal inspector, but uh, what are things that you think that they, you urge that they should check out because it might be important yeah. in a mobile home? Yeah, definitely is. is. And you know, the thing is, is once you validate your home is safe, you can spend a little bit of time just checking on it yourself. You don't need me all the time as you just do due diligence, you're okay. But plumbing, plumbing, plumbing is, is twice a year Maybe when you do your time change, you should go and operate all the toilets, the sinks, the tubs, the stalls, the showers, and look for plumbing leaks, subtle drain leaks, or supply leaks, and, and one day you're going to find it. And that instant you're going to become your best friend because you can fix it, and then it doesn't turn into $5,000 in water damage, mold, and mildew, and fungus down the road. So oh. really the best thing an owner can do is just do the preventive maintenance, especially with regards to water. Just look for leaks and signs of water and be on top of it. And as soon as you have a problem, is call an expert immediately just to have it fixed. It's that simple. What are the big differences between a pre-HUD and like a brand new home that we are building? Yeah, uh, <laughs> not a lot and a lot. It is the support system in a new HUD home is going to be much more robust. It might have twice as much um, support. It also will be tied down or it will have earthquake braces that are going to hold the structure and make it much more solid. It's also going to have probably much more reliable plumbing. It might have copper plumbing instead of polybutyl. It might even have two by six walls instead of two by fours, a solid roof. It's gonna, it's gonna be almost night and day like a house and uh, just mobile manufactured house. So is is with um, pre-HUD homes, you have to be much more careful as they're built with lightweight materials, is that they don't have water damage. So you can trust a, a HUD home a lot more, just be a lot more reliable and meet all the current standards for building codes. One of the big questions that a lot of mobile home owners have, and I know it's health and safety and termite are very different inspections, but yeah. I'm sure you're pretty aware of stuff. So what are things, what are signs of termite and what, what is termite damage to a home in health and safety? Yeah, it's, well, technically they do what's called wood destroying organisms. So it's the fungus and it's the termites and the beetles, but the, the termites especially is, is they're kind of subtle for homeowners to see. You almost have to crawl underneath the house and they form what are called mud tubes that come from the ground and it's just part of their uh, movement. It's like their little freeway moving from the ground up to the house and back. You can look for signs of tubes or if you're getting those dry wood termites that fly in is they, they use their waste. It looks a lot like little brown and, and tan and black sand bits you can look for to call their droppings or their pellets but mm. you kind of have to know what to look for and where to look for them so um, it's usually the best thing to do is maybe for a termite inspector is have someone do it every five years it's just don't find out too late is if they're sneaking in because the wind can blow them right into your house Franco mm. uh, you get it treated and you're good and, and then the next day the wind can blow them right back in they're back again wow. is some of them are prone to just blowing with the wind in uh, the Bay Area so it's, it's, it's kind of a risk that's just based on chance you have gotcha. to be careful about it Cool. Thanks for answering these questions for our clients and our viewers. Yeah, my pleasure, Franco. Thanks so much. Good seeing you. Awesome.